hello guys so today we are going to see about how to analysis and design a cooling tower in our start for software so now we will open our start for software <clears throat> so we will wait so okay so now we will go to new project click on space now we give structure name as Cooling tower. Click on next. Click on S and click on finish. So here we have opened our structure. So now we will go to geometry and click on run structure wizard. Now select these two surface plate models. Here we can see cooling tower. Double click on it. So I'm taking the normal default ones, you can change it by here, everything. So this is the cooling tower. So you can change the throat diameter. So click on this and S. So we will import our prototype to here. So now here we can see the our cooling tower has came into our whole structure. So now we will assign the supports for this. For that, go to general, click on support. Now create. So we are selecting the pixel ones. Click on add. Now click the front view. Now click the supports. Drag this bottom node points so that all the nodes will be selected. So click on assign to selected nodes. Click on assign. <clears throat> so see here our supports have been assigned so now we will assign the property so here it will automatically take as its plates only so it doesn't have any beams or columns so we will take a thickness of 0 0.5 and click on add and close so now click on this now click on assign to view click on assign and else so see here so here we can see our plates have been assigned the thickness so we will see in 3d view so here we can see the thickness of 0 0.5 meters of thickness for this one see so now uh, we will add some materials to this so that is we can take concrete assign to view assign and s so concrete has been assigned so now again here we will give the loads and definitions so here we are taking the loads like the self weight like that is a dead load and the another one is the temperature and the another one is seismic so when we are taking seismic, firstly we have to assign the seismic and then we have to assign the other loads. So for assigning our seismic, we have to give first, we have to give the definitions. When we are defining anything, if we want to give seismic or wind, we have to firstly define that. So then and only it will take the commands and loads. So now we will define the seismic, for that go to seismic definitions click on add now here we select our is code that is 1893 to 2005 so zone factor we can take as 0 0.36 so everything will remain same now click on add and here we shall factor as 1 click on add and close so now go to load cases click on add now here you have to select seismic and give it as eq X. click on add and click on close so now click on this eqx and again click on add so here we have to select seismic loads uh, along the x direction and the factor is 1 click on add and close so here we are not able to see that is why because we haven't done analysis so for if you want to see the reaction about the seismic 
on this cooling tower we have to do the analysis for that we have to go to analysis and print click on add and close so now we will analyze analyze this so now we will do the analysis click on run analysis so it will be so we are done with 000, zero, zero. so we can go to post passing now click on done select this eqx ok so we can see the animation click on deflection ok so here we can see the deflection due to the seismic we click on plate maximum absolute ok so this is the maximum absolute failure due to the seismic so now we will define the other loadings like the self weight and temperature for that again go to loads and definition click on this click on load case details click on add now select that load here give the name pl click on s and again select the temperature click on temp give it name as temp add and close so now we will assign the self weight so here now you can see the seismic so we have given this one so it will not show so i will show you by deleting this temperature comments so we are going to again analysis so we are done with analysis okay so here you can see the seismic acting on the cooling tower so now we will add the other loads so we can go to this add so this temperature add click on s and get real add close if you print press enter also it will automatically add here so click on add now add this self weight factored load along y direction minus 1 click on add and close now assign this assign to view assign this so the self weight has assigned so again now we will change the temperature click on add now go to temperature loads here we have to see along 800 and this is 1600 and this is 2400 degrees Fahrenheit or celsius if you want add and close now select this assign to view assign s okay so see the temperature has assigned so now you have given the materials right so now we will go to analysis and print add close analysis run analysis and save So see here we are done with zero errors and two warnings. So warnings can be neglected. So we are going to post passing click on OK. So now we can see the plate enhanced fill or maximum absolute. OK. So this is about temperature and this is about seismic and this is due to dead load. Now we will see the animation about deflection due to dead load due to seismic and this is due to temperature so now we will stay, uh, see the stresses acting on this maximum absolute select go to plate stress contour stress type is maximum absolute go to again animation click on stress ok so this is due to temperature and this is due to seismic this is due to dead load so after that we will now design this part for that go to design concrete here we have to select our is code 456 select parameters deselect all we will take compressive strength and yield strength of the that one and go to define parameters here we can take in m40 grade and in the f5 we are taking the rebar as the 550 to 3 enter and close now we go to define commands only take off here we don't have any beams or columns print add close 
you can run analytics and save. Oh wow, so today uh, we have done with zero errors. Now go to post proxy, click on done, click on the animation, click on deflection. Okay, so it is deflecting. So you can go to plate, next to absolute, click on okay. So this is the next to absolute pressure, and this is due to seismic, and this is due to temperature. So you can see the reports. If you click on reports, you will get an output. Select all this, or else you can select what whichever you want. So okay, so here we have the reports about the nodal displacements. So the displacement of the nodal values. So it's negative or positive. You can see due to EQX or EQY or EQ. Or temperature of this dead load so we can see whatever we want in this so see here we can see the reports so we can see the concrete design here the two results concrete design and, it's, and concrete design This is the time period for the loading and this is the number of plates, the number of supports. This is all the densities, poison ratio, alpha and damp ratio. So what is the strength of the supports, support conditions, these are the stat values and stat space. So here you can get the each plate of So you can see the each plate values like this is the geometry of the plate and this is the property constraint, this is the center stresses, the body creates, this is due to temperature values and these are the corner stresses and principal stress and displacement due to del load. We can print this individual, so click on Microsoft Paint, click on OK and save the location. You can print it. So, post this, these are result loadings, animation, structure, click on plate. So, we can select whichever we want about SX. This is due to SX, EQX, and dead load. These are the stress types. So we can the any stresses or base pressures. So this is the base pressure is the November mm square. So we can modeling and this is our model. So this is our cooling tower. Where we can see, see here, this is the down part and this is the up. So it will be open because it is for the air vent. So you can print here. Okay. So after that, you know, it will be going to ask your file. So give you a file name and save it. So it will be saved to your computer in the format of PDF. So guys, this is how we can design a cooling tower. Cooling tower by using our Starco software. So thank you.